Right, welcome back to Sip the Talent Film. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and we're still working on our draft prospects for 2020 draft, for the 2020 draft. Today, we're going to concentrate on Evan Weaver. Evan Weaver is a linebacker from the Cal Bears, University of Cal. Uh, he finished the year with 181 tackles, which is a, a huge, huge, huge number for a linebacker. So you got to take a look at the tape and see how he was able to make so many tackles and, and, and wonder where he go from there. I think on one of the, the draft uh, boards I looked at as far as inside linebackers, they had him as the 14th ranked uh, linebacker. And um, But I still, I was intrigued by all those tackles he had, so I had to dive in and take a look at at you know what was going on. So um, he's 6'3", 2, 235, uh, from native of Spokane, Washington. And um, where's well, number 89? I don't know if he came to Cal as a uh, uh, tight end or something and switched over, but I went back and looked at all four of his years, all four, uh, all four of his years of stats. And he had tackles each year, so he maybe was came as a tight end and changed to 89, or maybe he just liked 89 and roll with it. If anybody has a story on why he's number 89, drop it down in the uh, comment section. But um, without further ado, let's get into Evan Weaver, linebacker, uh, Cal Golden Bears. All right, this is him right here, number 89. This is probably going to be the most negative I've been in a video. And you'll see why. The, I did. I watched four games. I think I watched um, Arizona State, Ole Miss, Oregon, and um, a little bit of North Texas. A little bit of North. Texas. So I watched three and a little bit over three games. But he had 22 tackles this game right here against Ole Miss, and so I was like, "Well, let's get into this Ole Miss film, see what he does." So this is Evan Weaver right here, number 89. This is what he's good at. Filling that hole, bam. Don't miss a lot of tackles. Filling holes, you know, playing A gap to A gap, don't miss a lot of tackles. What he's not good at. What he's not good at. Anything extremely athletic. This is him sitting right in the middle of the screen. Now run. Why you run? This I didn't get blocked at the last minute. Pursue the ball, man. Pursue the ball. Pursue, and it's gonna it's not gonna be a lot of rewind and for, and breakdown of this is you'll see why. This is Evan Weaver right here. Clear land to the QB. Go get. Maybe he don't have to. And I can't be mad because he don't have great foot speed. But uh, like I said, I always compare the films I'm doing to the previous ones I've done. So compared to Murray and Simmons and Harrison and and um, Queen, this dude's slow compared to those guys. You had a clean shot on old Mrs. QB and you can't get them. You just can't get them. It's him again right here. Okay, what kind of drop is that? And you know, if you've been watching these last couple couple videos, you know I harp on drops from linebackers. Okay, you're not blitzing. It's definitely a, it's a pass. He's back to pass. You haven't flipped your hips to even see if anything is trying to come around your head or or anything. You just just kind of no man's land. Pull Mike a little closer. He's just in no man's land. And do something. And you kind of have pursue after the ball. Come on, bro. Come on. Good. That's, that's what he good at. He good at this. Playing in the box. Strafing a little bit. Diagnosing the play. Sticking his nose in there. Good tackle. A little high. But good tackle. He good at that. But the thing is... Why I'm so skeptical about it because in today's NFL, who lines up and runs the ball A gap to A gap the whole game? Who? Who? And if it's a team out there that does that, 
Well, not the whole game, but the majority of the game. Put it in the comment section. Let me know. This is Weaver right here. Against Oregon. Yeah. Ooh. Finish him. Which is what got happened to him. Got done to him. He got finished. By 27. I wonder if 27 is H back or something. I hope he's just not a regular extra tailback. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. This is him right here. Middle of your field. Spread out. This is. He's not good at this. Let's see what happened on this play. It drops again. Nope. You just back. You basically backpedal. And not even a good backpedal for two or three steps. This is the same play. This just. Look at the drops. He starts on the S. And finishes on the other S. But who, who are you helping doing that? Because nobody, nobody's threatening you. Nobody's threatening you. Let's go back to the wild one. He's, nobody's threatening him. And had, had he turned his head at one point and seen that guy, maybe I'd give him a, a, a pass. But when you when you look at it, his head is strictly on quarterback. He never looks around to see what's coming or what's going out of his area. And I know so damn well he's not a spy. Slow as he is. I know he's not a spy. Again, same. Let's go on past this play. All right, this is him versus Arizona State. Now, I will say this before this play starts. This is what I expected to turn on the tape and see a lot of. You don't see a lot of it on, on tape, but you do see it here. Ball's thrown. Burn it. Turn and burn it. Go out there and help. We didn't see that versus Ole Miss. Did not. I've been asked, how can people support my channel and help it grow? And after talking to other YouTubers, Patreon.com is the answer. Any amount donated will help build the channel. My goal is to get a telestrator and help explain the ins and outs of the game even more. So go on over to Patreon.com backslash Zip the Tally to support the channel. And there will also be videos for subscribers only in the future. This is Coach Evans, and again, thanks everyone for the support. And head on over to Patreon.com backslash Zip the Tally. Oh, back to Ole Miss. This is him here. Look how long it took him to he had a clean shot, clean blitz. Look how long it takes him to get there. Go! Ah. So let, let me let me tell you why I'm screaming go. Ball snap. You gotta time this up. You gotta time this up. You gotta anticipate that that's gonna go where he's supposed to go. He's coming where he's supposed to be, and you should be right behind him. When when this contact happens, you should be right down his face, coming off of it. Should be now you three steps behind. One, two, three. You three, four steps behind. Well, that's a touchdown in the NFL. That's a touchdown in the NFL. Oh! Yeah, yeah. Let's go back and watch that again. How big is this running back? This is number eight for Ole Miss. Number six, maybe. Good job of sitting there and being patient to meet him in the hole. But finish. 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 Not running that flat footed. Oh, oh, that'll happen to you. That'll happen to you. I wish I knew how big that running back was from Ole Miss. Now, this is him out here. Now, I didn't like this. Didn't, I just This was the first play I, I, I recorded right here. The very first one, I did not like this. Get off the block, please. You're standing there dancing with a guy. This is a running back or a tight end or something. I don't know what position this guy play. But you're a lot. Get off the block. I can see you sticking and staying with these guys up here. I understand that they're linemen. They they block all the time. You're a linebacker. I can, I can kind of understand that, kind of, sort of. But not out here in the open. I, this dude should not be able to block you and keep you in that one spot. Should not. He should not. Destroy this dude. Run through him. Use your password. Do something. Get off this guy. 
back against Oregon again. And I think this might be my favorite clip that I, I, I took. This might be my favorite one. Yeah, this is it. He walled that guy off. Keeping him out of the middle of the field. Even though they call pass interference, I really like this play from him. This is him right He's going to wall. I just probably the same dude that pancaked him a minute ago. 27 off. Open up to him. 27 trying to get to the middle of the field and run that bender. Wall him off. In phase. In phase. Now, the only reason 27 beats him, because obviously 27 is faster than him. But from here back, great. Great by Evan. From from there back to the beginning of the play, great. Walled him off. Didn't let him inside. Running him down the field. And his job in, in that that responsibility is to make the running back, I'm sorry, make the quarterback put air on the ball. If he makes the quarterback put air on the ball, it's probably some kind of cover two look. And then some of those safeties can converge. But if he lets them get in the middle of the field and the safeties are still wide, he's going to throw a dart and it could be possible to be a touchdown. So he got to protect the middle of the field at all costs. And he does. He does. It's better to give up this P.I. than give up that touchdown. I'd rather have him give up them 15 yards than that, that um, is right on the 50, so that 50-yard touchdown. So this is my favorite play from, from Weaver right here. That was that was. This back to Ole Miss. Get off the block. We just talked about sticking sticking on blocks. Just talked about it. It's like he gave up. It's like he saw the ball go away. Okay, I'm just going to stay here and chill out. This is him right here. Ball's, ball's gone. He knows it's going out here. So let me just kind of hang out and chill. Get, get off. And then he, he he did the little rip where he took his arm way over his head and exposed all his chest. That's a lineman's dream. The lineman's just going to clamp on you and grab you and hold you right there. You can't give him that. You just can't. We were here. That's a good job right there. And I had the arrow in the way, so I ran it back. That's a good job of being disciplined. Being disciplined. You probably got this C gap or this gap out here. That's why he kind of stays. See the quarterback with the ball because he stayed in his gap. Now make the tackle. Make the tackle. That's the last play I have for Evan Weaver. And you probably think it's all negative, all negative, all negative. No, but when you go back and watch the games on your own, you, the positive for Evan Weaver, the son gonna miss a lot of tackles when he when he get his hands on you. He don't miss a lot of tackles. That's why he got all those tackles. When he's athletic enough to get into play or they run right at him, he don't miss tackles. That's that's the main positive for him. That's gonna be the best thing going for him. He don't miss tackles. The negatives, not athletic, not athletic. But if he can get in a system where he's responsible from B-gap to B-gap and very little in pass protection, I mean, pass uh, coverage, they got one. They got one. But, again, positives, he don't miss tackles. Negatives, he's not as athletic or fast as some of the other guys we've done. Not to say he won't be a bad um, fit for somebody because um, 181 tackles is still 181 tackles. Now, let me give you this progression real quick while I got it up here. So, as a freshman, he had 16 tackles. As a sophomore, he had 55. As a junior, he exploded to 155. And then finished this year with 181. That's a, he had 103 solo tackles. 103 solo tackles. So with that being said, probably as negative as I was, Evan Weaver was still not a bad football player. He just got to find the right system and get in there. And if this is your first time um, here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you like what you saw, hit the like button also. And if you want to see more, hit the bell notification for when I drop random videos like this. And um, I appreciate you guys coming through. It's Coach Evans, Tip the Tally Films. We out.